where you want us to go. Thank you very much. Is there any questions from the children? My son is shaking his head, he says, no, no, not from me. Not now, thank you. We are rubbing oh. our hands right now, just to... Was it a good explanation? Ask him. Yeah. He says yes, yes. mine. What uh, about yours? Uh, about the I... plasma. We didn't understand yeah. very well, uh, really, the definition of the plasma. How can we... The children, yes. what exactly is plasma? Plasma is a ball of magnetic fields, which in the center, do you, okay, I tell you something, because my son knows, maybe children can explain. Come on, you have to. I Good evening. My name is Ruben. I know that a plasma is made by an energy field. And little magnetic things inside it. Can we understand from your child what it means to have a plasma? What does he <laughs> yes. know that uh, to it? Yes. Yes. These are the children of the world. No barriers, no borders, no color, no race. They can teach right. each other much simpler than we can. Let us see what he understands. He's going to explain what he understands from plasma now. We are waiting. Oh, for my child. Yes. Okay. I have Let to... Let their program, is not ours, huh? <laughs> yes, so he said, it, it is... Um, Give him the headphone, let him speak. Yes, but oh. he doesn't speak English very well, so I have to translate doesn't matter. everything. That's good, let you do, let him, let, it, let him be heard. What language does he speak? Uh, he speaks uh, just German. And uh, he was no uh, he was the, at the moment very fascinated about uh, about the magnets. So he's playing now around with the magnets on our fridge, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why I think he skipped the part with uh, <laughs> with the plasma. So he's just uh, trying uh, to to discover the magnetic fields and trying to see how they they react to each other. So, um, yes, he's just playing around and um, trying to find out how this magnetic field uh, work out. Uh -huh. I think uh, for purpose of our teaching children, we yeah. deliberately kept away from magnets and magnetic flat magnets, like this one. Because... Yeah we have come to understand, then you have to re-educate them to understand the magnets uh, the, or the life, the structure in the universe is a ball of fields which they run after each other, what we call a plasma. It starts from the center, the center, the yolk, is exactly a copy of an egg. The center, the yolk, is where all the field radiates out. And then, Whatever radiates out, we call from the time, from place, the yolk, till come to the white or to the skin of the egg. We call it the transition point. 
and what we call it transmission, uh, transition field. And then, on the top, when it comes to us, we see it, we call it a matter, or things we call it what it is. Like, here is the egg of, uh, the shell of an egg. So, a plasma is a copy, no different than an egg. But, has to have a source. You can't have things free. So, that source, if you look at the egg, is the yolk. And it radiates all these fields outwards. And from the time and the place on the top of the yolk where the white starts to where we see it as a, a skin and the shell of the egg, we call it the transition. So we call the white of the egg the transition. It takes time to transit, to travel from the yolk to become to the skin. So this is how we understand plasma, a source the white, which is the transition time from the very, where it leaves the source, to the point when, it, when we see it detectable to us, like an egg. Another easy example of a plasma, which is a true plasma, in true sense of plasma, is our solar system. The sun is the source, where all the fields come out. And then, for example, in our case, it takes over eight minutes from the surface of the sun, to the surface, to the top of the top layer of the Earth, for this field to travel. So, we call the transfer of the field from the surface of the Sun, to the upper layer of the atmosphere, the transition, which is in transit. And then, at the point when it rubs against this magnetic field and gravitational field of the Earth, manifests itself as the light, or changes and becomes matter, we call it the matter state, because now it to us detectable. And this is the easiest way to explain to children about plasma. Because nowhere in the universe, and one of the biggest problems in teaching regarding the plasma technology and the existence of life in the universe, is we try to teach children magnet in the flat form, like this, or magnets like this. Yes, they are like this, because we push these balls together, like this, uh, what do you call it, X, or what called plasmas, and then, it's very hard to teach children, no, what you see is collection of these, we squish together. But if you teach children the plasma from the beginning, it's like a ball, and all the fields in the universe come out of a big ball, from the center of the universe, and then they divide to smaller ones, and then they make the galaxies, and then the smaller one makes the solar system, and the smaller one makes the sun, and the smaller one makes the earth, and then it, when these fields become smaller and smaller, these little balls of magnetic fields, it become the parts of our body. And to teach children about flat magnets, and then trying to change, is the biggest problem which we have with the world of science today. That's why, we try to explain from the first session about a plasma. A plasma is a huge ball of magnetic fields. With a source, the time which takes it from the source to come to be manifest to us as a matter, and when it's on its shell, totality with all the fields on the center, we call it plasma. And you can change it, you can play with it, you can understand it, in a very simple way. Because, even when it's plasma, it's soft, it's not hard. The hardness of the plasma, as we see like in this one, this to be the egg, without the shell, which is bouncy. And to be hard, this is the same egg, another one from the same chicken because we have to keep our own chickens in the house, we know all our eggs where they come from. So, if it becomes hard, when it's in, in a soft position, in respect to the others, becomes bouncy and soft. But, when it becomes to us detectable, that we can hold it, then becomes the egg with the shell. But inside, still the same. So, a source, time of travel, till where we can detect it is, in the other hand, for the children, the easiest way is, very simple, there is a school. The source, the place, is home, that's the center. 